Hi everyone, Mike from CCTV Camera Pros here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect a security camera alarm input to a magnetic door sensor. And then we'll use that magnetic door sensor to trigger video surveillance recording on the NVR that the camera is connected to. So, some of our ViewTrial IP cameras, like this one we're using in the demo, have these alarm input and allow alarm output terminal ports on them that allow you to connect these sensors. And so I'm, I'm connecting the magnetic door sensor to the alarm input of this IP camera, and then the IP camera is connected to a Vutron NVR. Now, the NVR also has a, uh, a alarm output port on it, which is connected to the strobe light. So in addition to triggering the video recording on the NVR, we're also gonna trigger the uh, alarm strobe light output on the NVR. Uh, here's how the camera is wired. It's very simple. I just use uh, 18 2 power cable to connect the two alarm input ports to the magnetic door sensor. I set up this little box here to simulate a door opening and closing. So let's, let's now run through the setup on the NVR and then last we'll run through a demo of the whole thing. We're opening the, opening the alarm sensor, you know, triggers the uh, video recording and turns that alarm light on. Here's the live security camera view on the Vutron NVR. I'm gonna to switch to the single camera view of the IP camera that we're using. And here's the magnetic door sensor that is connected to our IP camera. And this is the alarm light that's connected to the DVR's alarm output port. I'm gonna to navigate to the main menu of the NVR by selecting settings and then select AI slash event. On the AI event screen, I'm gonna select the sensor link and then scroll down. This is the door. This is the alarm uh, input of the IP camera right here, the IPAX4D. And uh, I already renamed this door sensor. You can name it whatever you want. You could set the schedule for when you want this to be enabled. I'm just going to leave it on uh, 24 by 7. Magnetic door sensors are normally closed, so set this to NC and set enable to on. The duration is how long you want the alarm to be enabled for. I'm just gonna set that to five seconds. And then I'm gonna check off the record and snapshot uh, check boxes. And then I'm gonna select the uh, alarm security camera that we're using for both the recording and the snapshots. Uh, if I wanted to, I could also send a uh, push notification. So I'm gonna enable the, the snapshot first. And then over here, I could enable uh, push notifications to the mobile app, but we're not, we're not gonna demo that, so I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, so the alarm output, I'm gonna enable the alarm output one on the NVR. So I'm gonna set, move that over to the box on the right. I notice I could set other alarm outputs on the NVR and other IP cameras if I wanted to. Uh, so next, I also want to set up the uh, video uh, pop-up so, so it opens up the uh, live video view of that IP camera when the alarm is triggered. So I already had it set, so I need to select a different camera here temporarily uh, so it gives me the option to switch back to the camera that I want just, just to show you guys what I did. So I'll go back in, and here I can set the, the Vutron IPAX4D. And then uh, I want a message box to pop up on the NVR to alert me. And when I'm done with those settings, I can click apply. So now I'm back at the live view of the IP camera and I'm going to trigger the alarm uh, by opening the magnetic door sensor. So if I switch to the uh, six camera view, you'll see that when I open up the alarm box, the NVR is gonna to switch to the single camera view of that IP camera. It's gonna pop up in this alert message and it's going to uh, trigger the alarm output that's connected to that alarm strobe light. So next, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to play back recorded video from events that have been triggered by the alarm input, uh, that magnetic door sensor. So if I go to playback, you can see this timeline opens up on the right, and I'm, and I'm gonna expand it by clicking on this magnifying glass here, and all of the alarm input uh, events are notated by these red marks on the timeline. So anytime that box is opened, it's, it's notated on that timeline with that red. And you can see the playback of me triggering the alarm. And then when I'm done, I can go back to the live view. 
Guys, I hope this video has been helpful. As you can see from the video, the Vutron NVR makes it really simple to go back and find all those recorded events where that magnetic door sensor you know, triggered the recording. It makes it, it's a real time saver. It makes it real easy on that timeline to jump to all those events. Um, in addition to triggering recording on the camera that the uh, magnetic door sensor is connected to, it can trigger recording on the entire NVR or any camera that's connected to the NVR. You could select which ones it triggers recording on. And in addition, although I didn't demonstrate in this video, you can also get a push notification on the Vutron mobile app for iPhone and Android anytime that magnetic door sensor is tripped. Um, if you have any questions about any of this, feel free to reach out to me anytime. I can be reached directly at mike at cctvcamerapros.net. If you wanna learn more about these Vutron IP cameras that have these alarm inputs and alarm output ports, please visit www.cctvcamerapros.com slash alarm in. Thank you for watching.